What do I think of Beethoven? Um, I think he was a good composer, you know. But, uh, you know, like his style has changed, you know, he's, he's become less popular uh, nowadays. You know, in my personal opinion, and this is, this is just my opinion, but I think that Beethoven was the greatest composer that ever lived. He's the greatest composer that ever will live, and his music should be played every day, everywhere, by everybody. All the time. What do you think of Beethoven? Beethoven? Are you kidding me? You know what my opinion of Beethoven is. Like, you didn't... Why'd you even bring me out here? Like, what I think of Beethoven, that's what everybody should think of Beethoven. It was, it was just like a waste of time to even ask me that question. Beethoven, what... Isn't he dead? No, like, I'm serious. I seriously think no, he's dead. No, yes, he, he is dead. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah, I thought so. What's your favorite composition by Beethoven? I'm gonna have to say his fifth symphony and his sixth um, and his ninth and um, and the Hammer Clavier Sonata and the Appassionata Sonata and the Waldstein Sonata and I think everybody likes the Moonlight Sonata. None of them. They're all equally terrible. Can't you think of one that you hate the least? His funeral march. God save the queen. But Beethoven was a German composer. Well, yeah, that that is Germany's national anthem. I thought that was Deutschland über alles. Nope. Nope, that's France. Can you name one good thing and one bad thing from Beethoven's life? Fidelio, of course, uh, the overture from the Creatures of Prometheus. Um, of... Oh, we're, we're on the next question. Oh. What, what was it? Well, I can name plenty of bad things. I mean, uh... His first symphony was a bad thing. His second symphony. I mean, who bases a movement of a symphony on the fact that he has gas? You don't do that. I mean, there's a reason this guy could never get a girlfriend. His fourth symphony. His fifth symphony. His sixth symphony. What about his third symphony? I never heard it. Can you think of any good things? Um, he never got his hair cut like Justin Bieber. One good thing, um, uh, he won the Nobel Peace Prize, I think, in, in like, um, 1928 or something like that. Uh, there were a couple bad things, like, I think he had Lou Gehrig's disease, but, like, they only found that out after, after he was in the hospital for, like, a week from that really bad car wreck. So that was kind of, like, a good thing and a bad thing together, you know. Would you recognize Beethoven if we showed you a painting? Probably. Yes, actually, and I would probably leave. Actually, I'm, I'm leaving anyway. No, what? No, um. Well, yeah. Um, of course I would. I mean, I have a painting on my porch, and I have a painting of him in my living room and in my dining room, and I have a painting of him in my bathroom. A painting? Why couldn't they just take a picture of him? I have a statue of Beethoven in my garden. And of course I have a bust of Beethoven on my piano. Do you play the piano? No, I just needed a piano to put the bust on. I don't actually play it. I actually have a tattoo of Beethoven on my back. Yeah, no, you... No? Please don't. No, okay. Do you know how Beethoven died? Beethoven died on the night of March 26th, 1827, the night of a thunderstorm. No idea. Some think he died of alcoholism, while others think he died of hepatitis. Sir, come back, please. No! The autopsy revealed significant damage to his liver, but some forward the controversial theory that he was poisoned by his doctor. Wasn't he assassinated? Oh, yeah, he was assassinated by, um, um, uh, John Wilkes Booth. No, yeah, it was John Wilkes Booth, I remember, because, because Booth had assassinated President, uh, Nixon earlier that year, and I remember because Beethoven composed the music for Nixon's inaugural ball. And they played God Save the Queen at his funeral.